All right, I got this Belkin wireless end router. I'm gonna show you how to set it up here, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the router. I got it plugged in. This is what it looks like. And when you set it up initially, you wanna have your internet plugged into the yellow port, and then just have your computer ethernet plugged into either one of these gray ports. And then let's get on the computer now. Go ahead and open up an internet browser, it doesn't matter what. It can be Edge, Internet Explorer, Google, Firefox. And then type in the IP address for the router, which is 192.168.2.1. Alright, so now it takes you to this Belkin homepage. And you want to go ahead and log in. And I have these two notepads set up just to block any information about the router. So go ahead and click on login. Now once you put in your password, your password default is just blank when you first initially buy the router. So just hit enter or click submit. Alright, so now you're logged in. It takes you back to the initial home page. So now let's go ahead and set up the wireless router. So go ahead and click on channel and SSID. Once you go there, you, in this page, you can change your SSID, which is what is broadcast when uh, you're looking for a wireless router to connect to. So go ahead and change that to whatever you want. And then hit Apply Changes. And then wait 60 seconds. Once that's done, it kicks you out and makes you log back in again. Uh, since we haven't changed the initial password to log in, you just hit enter because it's blank. There you can see uh, SSID has been changed. So now we want to set a password for your wireless router uh, to get into that Wi-Fi uh, uh, SSID that we set up. So hit security. And at this window, I just leave it as WPA, WPA2 personal. You can change it if you want. And then the password to get into the uh, Wi-Fi is that pre-shared key. So you go ahead and highlight that and change it to whatever you want. And click on apply changes. And wait 60 seconds. So now the router is kicked you out again. Go ahead and log back in. We haven't set a password, so just hit enter. Now we want to go ahead and set the password for the router uh, to make it secure. Because if you don't, then anybody that logs into your Wi-Fi or is connected to your landline can get into your router without a password. So go ahead and click on System Settings. And at the top, you can see the administrator password. Uh, type in the current password, which currently is nothing, and then put whatever you want in the new password and confirm it. Now scroll down and click Apply Changes. Now this one only takes 10 seconds. Woohoo! So it's kicked you back out again, and at this point you're going to actually have to use your new password that you set in order to get into the router. So if you run into any problems when you're setting up this router, and you need to reset it to its factory default because you can't log in because you forgot your password or something. Uh, while it's powered on, just get a pin and push in that reset button and hold it in for at least 10 seconds. And then this light up front will start blinking and go to orange and probably blink again and then it'll be reset. It takes, it takes some time though. It takes uh, probably a good minute for it to completely reset the factory, but there you go. 